For as long as civilizations have existed, humans have endeavored to create a way to prolong their life, or even to completely avoid death. The search for something that could allow people to escape the inevitability of aging has inspired countless innovators to pursue various avenues in physics, chemistry, and biology for this elusive substance. Many cultures from around the world have created myths of elixirs that grant immortality and heal all ailments. While the historical hunt for the elixir of life has not yielded successful results, the advancements in search of it have led to some of the most monumental achievements in human history. Today, modern biology has allowed us to better understand the causes of many features of aging, and eliminating some of the illnesses associated with aging may not be far off in the future. Ancient cultures, from the Greeks to the Chinese, have hypothesized that a mysterious substance could be used by humans to gain immortality. In Greek mythology, ambrosia, the food of the gods, was said to sustain the gods' health when they consumed it during their feasts. Ancient Hindi mythology had a similar nectar of the gods, referred to as Amrita, although this nectar had a more spiritual rather than physical element to it, and often granted enlightenment rather than immortality. The ancient Greek and Middle Eastern cultures investigated many naturally occurring ingredients for immortalizing properties, including honey and aloe vera, which have been used to heal wounds and maladies since the discovery of their therapeutic properties. Although not secrets to immortality, both honey and aloe contain vitamins, small molecules, and enzymes that help promote a beneficial immune system response and strengthen the body. The ancient Chinese attempted to make elixirs of youth and immortality from metals and chemical compounds, such as mercury, lead, potassium nitrate, and sulfur, reasoning that because the chemicals were reactive or unstable, they could have special properties in the body. Mercury and cinnabar were the most commonly used metals, and elevated levels of mercury have been found in the tombs of many ancient emperors. Of course, mercury and lead are toxic and lead to chronic degeneration of the nervous system, and many emperors likely died earlier than they would have if they had not consumed these solutions. During the search for an immortality elixir, the ancient Chinese coincidentally created the first recipe for gunpowder by mixing potassium nitrate and sulfur. While both of these materials are toxic in high concentrations in the body, their ability to react and release high volumes of gas quickly made them effective explosives. The creation of the first explosive revolutionized human life in countless ways. Following the European Renaissance, numerous scientists throughout Europe, mostly in Italy, France, Germany, and England, experimented with alchemy, a branch of natural philosophy similar to modern-day chemistry. One of the most energetically pursued substances was one that could allegedly grant immortality and transform metals such as lead into precious metals, named the Philosopher's Stone. A few people throughout folklore have managed to create this material, including the infamous Nicholas Flamel, who, in reality, was a scribe and manuscript seller. Despite no verifiable success in creating the Philosopher's Stone, the study of alchemy was much more expansive and scientific than is often believed, and contributed greatly to the modern studies of physics, chemistry, biology, and philosophy. Advancements in biology in the past century have given us a greater understanding of what causes aging, and it's simple to see that because of the variety of factors that lead to aging, an elixir that could solve all of those problems is infeasible. Aging can be caused by external factors such as exposure to ultraviolet radiation or free radicals, or by internal factors such as telomere shortening or DNA oxidation. 
While many of these factors are outside of our control, individual factors that contribute to diseases can be addressed, possibly to the point of eliminating the disease. Current research is focused largely on genetic diseases, but historically used compounds such as honey and aloe vera mentioned previously have also found applications in increasing human longevity. Of course, immortality is still far from being a reality, but the trend of increasing human lifespans is expected to continue with the healing of age-related disorders. Deoxyribonucleic acid organized in chromosomes often has telomeres at its end, which are moderately sized segments of DNA that serve no transcriptive purpose but protect the chromosomes from losing important information during replication. Due to replication of DNA requiring primers, a short segment of DNA is not replicated during each cycle. Over time, the telomeres become shorter and eventually disappear. When the telomeres disappear, replication begins to harm the genetic structure of important coding regions of the DNA, which leads to issues with proteins and eventually to cell death. Several diseases are related to shorter than normal telomeres, and finding a way to lengthen them could be an effective method for treating these diseases. However, this would be difficult as any potential treatment would have to be localized to the nucleus, which is not an easy feat to accomplish for a drug. The use of telomerase reverse transcriptases to repair DNA in potentially cancerous cells has been demonstrated in laboratory settings. In a somewhat similar approach to telomere targeting therapy, stem cells have widely been investigated for their potential in organ and tissue regeneration and in novel youthfulness therapies. Stem cells, which are naturally found in the body, replenish the body by dividing into more specific types of cells. The stem cells found in the body are adult stem cells, which are limited in their functionality because of low telomerase regeneration, but nevertheless can help repair tissues. A different type of stem cell, induced pluripotent stem cells, are stem cells that have been reprogrammed to have similar properties to embryonic stem cells, namely high telomerase reverse transcriptase activity and the ability to divide into all cell types. These cells have been investigated for their regenerative properties, such as organ and bone regeneration, as well as alleviating the effects of genetic diseases. Because a large number of age-related diseases are the result of mistakes in protein folding, gene therapy that targets genes for certain proteins could be effective in treating these diseases and improving people's lives. For example, Alzheimer's is thought to be mostly the result of an accumulation of misfolded proteins in the brain, and these proteins are most often the result of a gene referred to as ApoE4. Another gene, named WRN after the syndrome its malfunction causes, encodes a specific DNA helicase in humans. Its malfunction causes premature aging, as cells with mutation in the helicase are more prone to DNA damage, and affected individuals rarely live past the age of 50. Both of these genes could be targets to alleviate or stop the effects of their respective diseases. However, due to the difficulty of accurately delivering genetic material to cells in vivo, genetic therapy treatments for these diseases are far from being developed. Many of the substances historically used for elixirs of life have been repurposed into modern pharmaceuticals and therapeutics due to their beneficial properties. Honey has been applied in wound healing applications due to its acidity and high water solute concentration, both of which discourage bacterial growth. Extracts from aloe have been used in many pharmaceuticals to treat issues from inflammation to cancer. Gold, which had been used in some elixirs of life throughout history, has found many applications in medicine, particularly as nanoparticles for biosensing applications. 
gold nanoparticles can be functionalized with different chemical groups and therefore can have selective reactivities. Gold itself is also mostly non-reactive with the body, but receptive to outside stimuli such as light, which makes it great for targeting certain organs or tissues in order to detect illnesses such as cancer. Throughout ancient and modern history, humans have aspired to find a way to cure diseases and escape the certainty of death. While immortality has not been achieved, advancements from thousands of years ago to today have significantly increased the human lifespan. By combining ancient practices with modern biological knowledge, it may be possible in the future to increase human lifespan even more, or perhaps even achieve true immortality, assuming that is something we want. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like or subscribe for more educational documentaries. Check out more videos on the channel, or check out my friends' channels for more content.